Okay, um, right now we're just doing an inspection on tire tread and uh, just checking the condition of the wear of the tires and uh, we're using our tire tread depth gauge which measures in a the common way to measure is in 30 seconds of an inch so that's what we're going to do and basically this is real simple you just push the tip out and then run it into one of the grooves that runs along the tire and check the depth uh, between the the deep part of the groove and the tread that's sticking out so right now you can see you go basically with the closest mark which is seven so we're at about seven thirty seconds but that's only on the center of the tread um, actually on this tire we have some inner wear so it's actually fairly low on the outside that's only looking like about ooh, maybe about three thirty seconds on, on the inner edge, but that's typical um, with um, issues when you, you have um, your toe adjustment is out or if your camber is out. Uh, so that could indicate that you might need to do an alignment on that vehicle. Although some vehicles are specified to have negative camber and toe adjustments that do wear out the tire, especially on like high performance vehicles. Uh, but this is an older Honda Civic, so it's, you know, it, it, the alignments not as good as it used to be even once I had it checked um, but anyways so um, yeah the typical wear problems that you'll see is a lot of inner wear due to um, like I said alignment um, and then if you over inflate you have to be careful if you over inflate your tire because it'll wear too much in the center and then that'll cause uh, you to need to replace the tires sooner than necessary and then if you have it under inflated you're gonna get wear on both the outer and inner edges which will also cause you to need replacing them sooner than necessary so yeah, it's important to definitely check the specification on the pressure for um, what's recommended for your tires for your vehicle and front and rear is usually going to be different um, like on a front wheel drive vehicle this one requires more pressure in the front because it uh, has more weight in the front um, but uh, let's see besides that oh yeah rotating your tires is definitely helping um, helping to make them last longer um, because it just because of the different way that tires wear in the front and the rear and then also if you do have some of those alignment issues um, or certain driving habits some people will wear out the outer edges on the front tires um, so they take turns a little harder than other people but um, that's normal that happens all the time uh, so yeah rotate your tires check the inflation uh, get your alignment checked especially when you get your tires replaced uh, you don't want to wear out brand new tires uh, that's a big waste of money so anyways um, I don't know is there anything else that we're gonna go over okay one more thing also um, well just for general replacement of the tire um, as far as wear goes, the, uh, the general rule I believe is about 330 seconds is when you, you're getting to the point where you, you want to change them. Um, I believe legally uh, 230 seconds you have to change them. Actually you can be, you can get a citation for that so you gotta watch out. Plus when your tread gets low uh, you definitely run in the risk of um, losing control of the vehicle in a wet situation so you gotta really be careful in the rain if you're running your tires um, below the limit on the tread um, so that it's definitely good for your safety to uh, watch your tires and replace them when it's recommended